Welcome to Bleep Loop, College Humor's weekly video game show. I'm your host, Jeff Rubin, and this week I'm here with John Gabers, who you might recognize from Bohemian Rhapsody or the upcoming Mocap LLC on Spike TV, and College Humor's own Streeter Seidel and Pat Cashers. Hey, Jeff. We are playing video games starring musicians. <laughs> Unbelievable. Which you guys have disgraced the good name of Aerosmith. It's yes. hard to be Aerosmith. I feel bad now. I made fun of them for a number of years, and apparently it's really hard to play their songs on media. Not easy. If you want to make an Aerosmith game today, it's very easy. Everyone's already got the toy instruments. You just throw the Aerosmith songs in. But it wasn't always like this. <laughs> This is 1994's Revolution X, the first Aerosmith game. The problem is right now, I'm too drunk to play a video game, but not drunk enough to enjoy Aerosmith. You're not playing as Aerosmith with a gun just lighting up the streets. You're, yeah. you're trying to rescue Aerosmith from the New Order nation. Right, you're like, I'm presumably a fan of Aerosmith, I think. Yeah. The well, biggest only a, fan. <laughs> only a fan would react in this way. Jeff, do you want to describe the plot of it? There's a, there's a, because there's clearly, there's a very dense narrative I mean, to this game. Guys, uh, do we have much, how much time do we have? Can we well, really get through the whole plot? Just like a Cormac previous McCarthy thing novel before, before it was a, <laughs> <laughs> it was a video game, right? I love how they're on rollerblades, like instant, ha the quickest possible way to date your game. Or make a game about Aerosmith. <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing this at like hot skates in Levittown, Long Island, at my, some girl's birthday party and being like, there's a butt up there. Like, you know, I'd love to see the owner of the, that arcade watching this video and be like, yes, yes, the publicity. <laughs> That's right, come on down. There's Aerosmith rocking on. Rocking, rocking while chaos. people die <laughs> around them. <laughs> Stones at Altamont. <laughs> Look at how many drums the drummer has. <laughs> Look at Tyler. Yeah, he has three symbols. Oh, he's not even turned their back on them. This is nonsense now. Uh, you wiped out 166 bad guys, dude. Total bonus. Their screams will haunt me forever. <laughs> Game concept and design by Michael Jackson. Stop Go. using your Michael Jackson powers. Don't tell me how to use my Michael Jackson powers, Pat. Dude, I only have one button that does anything. Did you, you guys know that? Because you ran out of your Michael, your, uh, your dance, dance power. move powers. I wasn't using my dance powers. Now, who are we fighting against in this game? It's actually, I think it's a very similar plot to the, um, Aerosmith game, like, I, it's been a while since they've seen the movie Moonwalker, but I It's been at least two weeks. Yeah, I haven't been to one of Pat's Moonwalker parties in, like, <laughs> in a while. I was, for, what, for a second, I was worried that I wasn't being invited. Well, it was, it was since he... You know what I love Let about this? Oh, Bubbles! This Follow Bubbles! Oh, no, he turned you into a freaking robot! <laughs> I think this game's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at the robots are dancing. Oh, well, yeah, they are, dude, they're grooving. Look at them, now they're about to die. Do you think any of those bad guys who, like, as they're dancing to their death, they're like, I always knew it in this way. <laughs> you said, Patrick, it was designed, it was concepted and designed by Michael Jackson. They just hooked up an electrode to him and, and he danced for 20 minutes and this game was completely made with his. <laughs> First of all, look at what's going on. Here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, pay attention. This is where you pick all right, up. all right, Journey, everyone in the spaceship. <laughs> you have to pick what, uh, I would accept what instrument this you want to rescue, right? Yeah. So each each journey speed. band member gets their own uh, their own level. So what happens if you beat all five of these instrument levels? You actually get you actually get to join the band. It's like the last Starfighter, where like Journey is using hey, this to train people to be in Journey. You know this game is old because it refers to extra lives as man. You get your first man <laughs> and twenty thousand points. That's like how my father talks. Oh, you gotta get another man. That's the way to beat. <laughs> There's no reason to make his arms that big. Uh, like, his normal arms are good enough. Are you gonna be a hustler or play a Don't thug? be G-Unit Soldier, we wanna see Pac-Man. Leia is still a step up for me, so I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> Looks like for rappers, first you make an album, then you get some sort of commercial, then you get a video game, and then you do a movie with Steven Seagal. It's like the, the natural progression <laughs> of how your career is That's your career arc? Yeah. Pat, don't take this the wrong way. You are the worst 50 Cent I've ever seen. What? Boring. You've only shot two times. I Concluding thoughts. What did we learn today? We've learned that, you know, 50 Cent makes a video game. He's like, let's make it badass. Everyone else makes a video game, and it's like, let's make it as fucking weird <laughs> as possible. <laughs>